Nancy yeah, spent a lot of time. Strangers united by tragedy. You two are good guys. Inextricably linked by the events of January 8th, meeting only now. Well, I was taking care of his wife, and uh, she had dialed his number, and all I said was that she was in an accident, was being taken to UMC Hospital because I didn't want to say she had been shot. So um, this was the first time we had, we had met him. Bill Heilman's wife, Susie, had taken nine-year-old Christina Green to the Congress on Your Corner event. Christina was interested in politics and government, and the Gabby event became known, and it was natural to take a young girl to see a wonderful female role model. The Bowmans were doing some grocery shopping that Saturday morning. He's a doctor, she's a nurse. When shots rang out, they ran to the scene. It was just carnage. There were, there were people, 19 people at least, I guess, must have just been shot at point blank because they are the ones that perished first. David Bowman began to triage the wounded. My role was to assess pulse, blood pressure, talking, put somebody injured with somebody who's not so badly injured, had ladies with handkerchiefs putting pressure on a chest wound on a man laying on the ground going to the next person and watching, quite frankly, the individual acts of heroism with, with the victims helping each other. But the image of a nine-year-old girl is something Nancy Bowman will never forget. Just pristine, she was beautiful, not a mark, it didn't seem on her. Susie Heilman, who was shot at least three times, tried to help the little girl from her neighborhood she had taken under her wing. I said, you know, Susie, you need to just lay down and we're gonna, we're taking care of, of Christina, but you need to take care of yourself too. She had, I think, four gunshot wounds. And she's worried about Christina. Following her first operation on Saturday, Susie Heilman will have hip surgery tomorrow. Her physical recovery is going to be near 100% eventually. Um, I think we're all very concerned just about the emotional trauma of going through something so unlike any experience that we've ever had before. Uh, and then of course there's the ongoing concern that, of her role in taking Christina uh, Green to this event and uh, making sure that she doesn't fall into the, the trap of guilt that really she shouldn't. That's sort of unavoidable though, isn't it? There's going to be dark moments and it's absolutely unavoidable. Christina's mother tried to lessen the Heilman's pain by writing them a note on Sunday morning. Uh, we got a lovely email from Roxanna. Christina Green's mom. Yes. Uh, trying to make sure that Susie was not adopting a too guilty mindset. So that was pretty generous. Extremely generous. They're good friends and they're wonderful people. Meanwhile, the Bowman, still clearly shaken, say they saw both sides of humanity that day. You look at this 22-year-old man who slaughtered all these people, and, but you, you also look at all these people who stepped up and came over to help. They, they walked into this, this massacre and said, what can I do to help?